In this video, we'll give you an introduction to the NetBeans GUI Builder. And to start, we're going to create a new project. I have to create a, uh, a Java project. And um, so in this case, we're going to name our Java project GUI Demo. And one thing that you have to to do is to to uh, make sure that the um, create main class here is unchecked. All right, the reason for that is we will be creating a, uh, a frame, which is going to be the main entry point into the project, and that will that will be the main class. All right, so go ahead and uncheck this uh, create main class if it's already checked, and then finish. Now to create your first uh, window, you have to um, right click on the package and say new and J frame form. And then we'll call this the main frame. Once the class is created, it will automatically go into the design mode. And you can see that you can switch between the design mode and the uh, source mode by clicking on either the design or the source button. So you can toggle between the two to get to both the source and the design. In the design mode, you'll be working with three uh, views. First, you will have the uh, palette, which is where you have all these components that you can uh, um, drag and drop onto your design form. Second, you're going to have the properties, which allow you to change the properties of the selected component. And third, you will have the navigator, which shows you which component is selected and also the parent child relationships between the different components. To add components to the, to the design form, you can simply drag the, the component that you want from the palette onto the design form. So let's go ahead and create a login window, right? So we want to have a, log, a label for the login name and the uh, password. And then we also need a, uh, a text field to, to record the login and also a password field for to record the password and a button to allow the user to log in. All right, so let's start by dragging a uh, label onto the design form. So I'm going to select this label uh, and then from there, use a mouse to drag this component onto the design form like so. And if I want to change the name of the label, I can do so by right clicking on it and say edit text. And I'm going to say login. So you can see that um, if you look at the to the right of the login uh, label, you can see there's a vertical line that that indicates that if I drop this component right now, it will be aligned to the right with the uh, login uh, label. So let's do that. All right. So I'm going to change the text to say password. Right, so you can see right now the login label and the password label are both aligned right. Right, so when you're designing, you can also um, have use this um, preview design uh, option, which will bring up the window as as you see it. Right, and the reason why you want to use this is because then you can start to resize the window to see how the layout would uh, would flow with different window sizes. So I'm going to right now we're going to drag the uh, text field right next to the login label. And you know that um, the, uh, the design uh, GUI, the design builder will will give you hints about how the alignment will Will, will flow. So in this text field, it's going to be aligned to the bottom, right? 
and I'm gonna drag a password field as well. All right. All right. So let's see how it looks. Right, and it would be nice if we can align, if we can make both the text, the text field, and the password field, to be the same dimensions. So what we can do is we can drag to resize the width of the the, the text field to be aligned with the password field. So you can see there's a hint that's, that that shows a vertical line. All right. So then now everything is is a uh, align. Okay. And you can also resize the window itself by by first selecting the the J frame. And you know it's selected by looking at the navigator and seeing that the J frame is the selected component. So in this case we can resize this uh window. And if we do a preview again, we can see the actual dimensions of that window. And then now finally, we want to add a button to the bottom. Depending on where you position the button, you can you can see the the GUI builder is giving you hints about how to anchor the button. So if you look on the top, you can see there's it says snap at the preferred distance from the right from the container's right border and snap at the preferred distance from the container's bottom. So what that will mean is when you resize the, the window or the container in this case, um, the location of the button will be relative to the bottom right border and also the container's bottom. So if now if we look at the uh, the preview, you can see the button is actually anchored to the bottom of the container. Right, but in this case, I'm going to anchor the button to the right of the password field. Right, so now if we, if we uh, resize the window, we can see that um, it does, it looks pretty nice. Right, so if I want to change the text, I can say login. And for the text of the text field, we may not want to have anything. And likewise for the password field. Right. So now what happened is since the uh, the password field was not didn't didn't have a uh, a size a preferred size, it's going to shrink back to um the default preferred size if as if there was nothing uh in it right there's no text in the in the password field so that's why everything shrunk in this case um simply due to the due to the login the login uh text field is is basically determined by the size of the password field so therefore if we want both of them to have a have a specific preferred size we would have to drag drag both of these uh feels out like so right and if you look at the design preview the um we need to add more spacing uh, to the to the right of the the, the text field Okay, so one thing to note is that in the navigator, it will show you the different components and their parents. So in this case, we have a J frame, which contains two labels, a text field, a password field, and a button. If you want to change the variable name of the component, you can do so by right clicking on it and say, change your variable name, right? And in, in this case, since I'm going to leave it since uh, labels are not really important in this case. But if we want to start to access the values of these text text fields and password fields in our source code, then these should have 
a more meaningful name. So I will name this login field and the password password field. And then the button, I will name it login button. So by doing that, what happens is if you go to, into the source, the source, uh, source code, you can see that the GUI builder automatically creates these uh, components in the source code. And as you rename the variable names, it will also refactor the source code to reflect that change. Right, so and now we need to reposition the the login window since we changed the dimensions of the of the password field. So it's still now it looks looks good. Right now, if we want to change the um, the GUI properties of each, each component, you can use the properties window and select the property that you want to change. So in, if I were to uh, change the the text color, I can do so by changing the foreground color. And then let's choose a uh, blue. And right, so you can see the, the, the text of the login button has changed to blue. And so that's basically it for the introduction to the NetBeans GUI builder. We will, we will have other videos that talk about the layout and also more advanced features of the NetBeans GUI builder. So check those out too. Thank you for watching.